What's up everybody, Fuzarex here. Um, today we're going to look at something very basic, how to do a brush pass, how to get good at brush passing. So there's two types of passing. There's stick passing, which relies on lateral speed of passing the ball, like tossing the ball. This is the tossed, and then here's the actual pass. That is the stick pass. And a brush pass, we're going to toss the ball very, very slow, and we're going to angle that ball to this up over here, up and down. So it, it's like a V. And so that's the power. It's, it's, it's forcing that other defender to commit to one of those V's or even the middle. And it's a very powerful pass. That's my pass. Love it. So how do we get good at this? What is it? So the first thing we're going to do is just, we're not going to worry about the toss because we just need to get the motion of the brush down. And if we're trying to toss it, because we don't even know what we're doing yet, we don't know where the toss needs to be, it's gonna mess up our passing, and everything's just gonna be off. And that's why you see a lot of people out there with very sloppy fibros, very sloppy brush passing, because they probably didn't learn it this way. They probably just thought, oh, I'll just pass the ball, and then I'll, I'll try to go up and down, and it looks really sloppy, and it, it's hit and miss, because they, they never developed the right way. So what we're going to do here, put the ball right under the bar and then just start moving that ball backwards until it gets pinched. So like when you're hitting the ball, when you're hitting the man down on the ball and it can't go anymore, that's too far back. So like right before it gets to that point, that's where we want it. And then for the man, we basically want to have the man as close to the ball as possible. So like, right there, that's perfect. A lot of people when they pass it, they're all, they're, they're holding it way up here and they're swinging through it. No, we want to have that right on top of the ball without actually touching it. Because we want to minimize the motion, minimize the toe, the giveaway, everything. Everything in foosball is very compact. So let's just start, just let's just practice this real quick by hitting it straight. So. We're not going to backswing it or anything. We're just going to push that ball and we're going to catch it. In order to catch it, we're just going to move this guy out here. We're not going to worry about trying to catch something fancy. We're just going to move this out here and that's it. That is, that is the brush. That is basically almost a brush. So that's what I want you guys to do when you have your own table. Just sit here and do this until you can do this very comfortably and then maybe get a little bit harder. And don't move the ball back by your, just pick it up and put it where it needs to be. That way you just get used to setting it up perfect here. So we're just gonna keep doing that. But definitely make sure you catch it up here too. And the harder you hit it, the more you can start playing with how you're going to catch it, you can kind of like, instead of just coming out, you like come out and move it up a little bit. That way it kind of like catches under there. Okay, so we got that down, guys, right? We're moving the ball back until it's almost pinched. And there's no, there's zero backswing on this. Zero. Not a little bit. Zero backswing. And you're just pushing the ball forward. All right. So that's the straight brush. So... Now what do we do is, now we're going to, we'll just work on the ups. So we're going to move this man right in front of the ball so we know for a fact we're doing it the right way. Same position, only now we're going to push the rod this direction away from us while we're turning it. And so I like to think of it in terms of like percentages, like 50-50. 50% of your effort is going to be pushing the bar and 50% of your effort is going to be turning it to, to pass it. So let's just do it real slow. Very slow. Again guys, the ball is right in front of this man. Zero backswing, zero giveaway. Ball, and here's your man, is barely above this. I mean, that is, it is effortless. Absolutely effortless. I don't know why people don't love this passing series because Tony Spreeman is a god. Everybody wants to be like him with this tic tac far wall. 
So much effort in that. But look how effortless this is. Bloop. And we're just going to sit here. I mean, for a whole day, dudes. Just this is it. And then you start to get a little bit faster. Like, the more comfortable you get. It doesn't have to be a lightning fast pass, but it still needs to be pretty solid. Um, and you'll, just through reps, when you start to go a little bit faster, your body's going to start making these natural adjustments to start catching that. But again, you have to start off slow. We have to put in our dues to develop muscle memory the right way. And I know it's boring. You know, a lot of people are on the table. I don't want to. I could do this all day long. Well, that's what you need to do. <laughs> all day long, this is what we're going to do. Fifty percent turn, fifty percent push. Ah, so easy, guys. All right, so now we're going to do some downs. Same thing. Right now, fifty percent twist, fifty percent pull. And sometimes it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more pull than. twist, I feel like. I mean, I don't know why that is. It's a little bit more pull, I think. So again, this too far back, it should be almost at a pinch, and then you just just barely, barely pull the man off the ball. Super easy, guys, right? Alright, so we're going to fast forward three days. So we've got just two or three days of nothing but this until you can start hitting these at a very pretty good percentage, pretty good speed catching them almost every time. And you'll know when you start going a little bit harder, you're probably going to start dropping them because you just you have to start making those adjustments. This is why you need so many reps. Just so many reps of developing the perfect executing thing. And notice again, there's no movement. We're not chasing the ball. We're not trying to time it. It's still, it's stopped. We don't even have to do anything. We're just put the man right over the ball. And, hit it and just push it forward while we push the bar away from us. Okay, so we got that down. What's the next step? Are we ready to toss it? All right, who's Rex? We're going to start tossing it now. We're going to be a badass. Nope, we are not there yet. <laughs> so now we're going to start understanding the power of the brush. And that is we want to be able to hit our V at any point in our toss. So let's just say we'll, we'll move that ball all the way down here. And we'll say the same thing up from there. Look, it's the same motion. It's the same pass. We have just We're just moving that ball further down on the, the, the track, and again, we are not tossing it. We're, we're getting our mechanics of the pass and catch down. We start tossing it without having our mechanics ingrained perfectly. It's going to mess everything up. And then, so now it's really close to the wall, and we're going to do a, a down, so it kind of, you'll, you'll figure it out. Trying to think if it's still 50-50 in terms of twist and push. Kind of, yeah. But, so let me come back up a little bit more. I mean, it's all the same pass. It's all the same motion no matter where it is. Like, even right, right on the wall, we're still doing it. Because it's the same pass. It's the same motion. Barely on top of the ball. 
All right, and we can even pull it up really high too. I mean, it's very hard. Once you're this high, it, you're just mostly looking at a straight pass right there. But you could still absolutely hit that down from way up there. A little bit tougher, you're absolutely changing your percentages of effort. Um, it's like 90% pulling it towards you and just a very, you're barely um, lightly twisting it. You're really just making contact, but 90% of your effort is pulling it because it has to go this, you're, this steep down. You're putting a, a spin on it so it hugs the ball or hugs the wall. Yeah, yeah this is a little bit tougher. It, it's better with new balls. Like the newer balls you have, the, the more powerful your pass is. But look at that, we are way up here. We're forcing, I mean this guy, once you hit like a lane, he's gonna be way up here. And so our pass, I mean it's almost borderline cheating when you get good at this because look how much distance there is and you're still, you're still hitting over here. Okay, so we're talking days and days of reps. We're hitting, we're, we're doing our pass without moving the, the ball. Your man is barely on top of the ball and you're just moving. Put that ball in different places. You know, every day, just move it around. Get a feel for how much effort it takes to, to do certain things. When you're way up here, it's gonna take more effort pulling it, so. And then, so the next part of this is kind of, I guess it's a little more advanced, is it's kind of like the roller. You know, you rock the rollover to disguise any kind of hitch, um, disguise your takeoffs and stuff. So same thing over here. Go like this, and then practice hitting it. Set the ball up, we're, we're still not tossing it. You're moving it. And it's all right if it doesn't you know, hit perfect, it will. The better you get. These were, let me see if I have a better ball. I don't know. These were better balls, it'd be hugging the wall a little bit more. So, yeah, we're moving this, this, and then we're going. Same thing. Move it here. And make sure you could do it both. You know, don't cheat, don't get in a, a rut. Don't get in a rut by saying, by thinking, well, I can only pass by being still, or I can only pass by doing this, but eventually we're gonna do hitches, fakes. So the goal of this is to disguise our series. So that's how we learn the brush. We're not tossing it. We don't wanna do that. Again, that will really slow down or increase your learning curve. <laughs> We're just, we need to get the motions in. And then once you have that, I mean, I'm talking days of just doing this, get our motion so everything's perfect. And then once we have that, now we can start to throw in the toss. And so, because we know where the ball needs to be, where that sweet spot is of, of passing, now we can understand where to toss that ball at on the track. So it stays in that sweet spot. So. The ball is in back of the rod. It's almost pinned when it's when it's going there. So now, now you just want to practice tossing it on that track. So, like, probably spend an hour or two without even passing. Just practice keeping that ball where it needs to be on that track in order for you to hit it. All right, guys, that's how we learn it. So quick summary, in order to get good at this, we're not gonna worry about tossing it and we're not gonna worry about going fast. We're leaving the ball still before it gets pinched. If you're pinching it when you hit it, it's too far back. And then we're barely moving it. <laughs> I mean, the actual motion is so minuscule, it's effortless. And then the better you get, the faster it's gonna get. And your brush pass needs to be a little bit crispy. 
know, one of the best compliments I ever got was after a match where I absolutely just dominated the five row. Afterwards, the, the guy came up to me and said, oh my gosh, like that's one of the best stick series I've ever seen. And all I could think about was, what are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, yeah, your stick series. It was because I, I, I was hitting my passes so hard. He thought it was a stick series, but it's not. It's just a brush that's very hard and very crisp. But we'll get it there, guys, because we're going to build up our muscle memory by just being slow and gentle. We're just going to get that rep, build that muscle memory. And then once it's in there, we're going to speed it up. All right, guys, any questions, let me know. If you guys want to have me go over something new, let me know in the comment section below. Stay safe, guys.